What's up, everyone? Welcome to Benched. My name's Joey, joined by my brother Angel. What up, now? Hello. Quick entry today, huh? What's that? Usually you, you let the ah ride a little bit. Yeah. <clears throat> shit off short. Yeah, you know, you've been really uh, critical of, of my openings lately. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> you always have like a breakdown of like, all right, now that time. That time. You, you did this here. different. You were you, you were, were lower. You weren't here mentally, were you? <laughs> I kind of noticed you were kind of quick on the trigger. You feeling good? Yeah. Yeah, feeling chipper? Wednesday morning and my last days of being 29, so I, I have to <gasps> really, yeah. gotta really savor it. February 21st today, Angel turns 30, 3-0 in two days. Can't wait. Can't, wait, Can't wait because it's been years. You calling me like you're the only one in your thirties. Welcome to the club, you piece of crap. Taking it in stride. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. If it's your first time watching on YouTube, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi. That's not where I do it. No. Dang it. We're not in sync. No. We're not in sync with this open. Here we go. Um, but welcome to the show. Thanks for joining us. Uh, we do shows three times a week, no matter what. If you're listening on Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or Amazon Music, thanks for joining us. And you can follow us on those platforms if you just want to listen to a uh, audio version of the podcast. Yeah. yeah. It is available and out there and on platforms I know nothing about. Yeah. You. Yeah. I only. I'm in my mind. We're only on on Apple and on Spotify. Yeah. That's only where I get my podcast. Yeah. So we're like on podcastpro.com. Nice. Visit podcastpro.com. <laughs> Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. We're also on all those platforms. Make sure you follow us. Search at Bench Show uh, to find us on all those platforms. Spelled just like that. And um, yeah, so episode number ninety four, marching our way toward um, episode number one hundred. I had some things to share. Angel said, "Joey, pull back the reins." Yeah, let's wait a little bit on that. Let's let it cook a little bit. Uh, but just we, a little bit. But I got some things to share. We have a lot of things to share. I got some things to share. Can't wait. Um, to get into that episode ninety four, we haven't done this in a while. Let's do some famous ninety fours. Your boy, Demarcus Ware. Yeah, um, I know he won as a Bronco, but he'll go into the Hall of Fame as a Cowboy, right? Hmm. Right. Yeah, I was thinking about that the other day. I, was yeah, like, I wonder will. if he'll go in as a Cowboy because he was kind of a Cowboy. And then he like in the last couple of years, his yeah, a little juice left. He went to the Broncos. That's like a yeah, as a Cowboy, but with a healthy nod to the Broncos. Yeah. You know, because he was... He was part of one of the greatest defenses of all time. If you don't think he's getting a standing O when he walks into, uh, what's it called? Uh, Invesco? Yeah. Or uh, uh, Empower Field. Empower Field. I think. Whatever. He's definitely getting a standing ovation there. Like, they love him. He was so good. Him and Von Miller. Yeah. Jeez. What a duo. Yeah. Well, yeah. That was one of the... Yeah. That I, was a fun defense to watch. They don't have those duos no more like like that. Because people just... Do, no. People spread it out now. Like, they're better than uh, Watt and Highsmith, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because Vaughn was Vaughn. Watt's not where Vaughn was. Oh, Watt's pretty pretty close. He's pretty good. But <laughs> maybe Vaughn he is. Was, I know. Maybe he is where where I don't Vaughn know. was. Vaughn was just. But uh, either way, Demarcus Ware. I mean, uh, Highsmith is nowhere near where no. Demarcus Ware was. So that's where you kind of balance out. Uh, I got a couple more names here. Cameron Jordan. He's been playing forever. It feels like. Yeah. And just dying to get in TV. And he's been like very consistent for a long time. Good for him. Uh, Robert Quinn, another pass rusher. Big pass rusher number here. Yeah. Here's a name. Um. Kabir Baja Biamila. Yeah, I remember him. He's now, a fan, him? now now he's a fantasy guy. Is he really? He's a fantasy guy for uh, NFL Network. I feel like I haven't heard from him forever. Yeah. Um, I think Christian Wilkins, too, is, is 94. I think he is. Um, before we get into, really, the news, we're going we're gonna to jump on the news in a second. Um, Jameis Winston gave us another fantastic clip. Did you see this? He needs to be on TV a, every day. I saw part of it, but I played the whole thing. Okay, so, so um, should I put it on the screen? I'll put it on the screen. Sure. Yeah. Um, but basically they asked him uh, about Mike Evans and, uh, he gave us this gold right here. This is Jameis Winston. So, uh, I think Texas receivers, they just, I feel like they're, they're different, but Mike is different. Mike is from, from Galveston. I, I, I always, I always tell this to people. And this is something that me and uh, my trainers talk about a lot. If you are born around water, like you have a different way of life. You Ooh. function differently. The way of water. And I just, I just feel like you function differently because water, like, water has no soul. Uh-uh. Mm. It doesn't discriminate against anybody. You get in that water, it's going to take you wherever mm. you go. So I feel like Preach. people that are around water, mm -hmm. they are very strong will. They're one with water. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Mike is from Galveston. If you've been to Galveston, Galveston is known for, you know, I don't know what they're known for. Cause I'm water. Not there, but I know they have a beach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's, 
Not a pretty beach. No, I don't want no more, but it's, uh, it's, it's some of the dirtiest sand in America. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. But it's not a pretty beach. So Mike is from that muck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying it might be all muck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's still muck. So, uh, so he. I just he, love uh, Jameis Winston. Hey, man. What do you? What? See, water's got no soul. It's soulless. <laughs> I like when he goes because he always does this. He like he'll lead himself somewhere and, and realize, oh, I have nothing to say about this. Yeah. When he goes like, Gavis is known for. Well, I don't know what it's known for. I'm not from there. <laughs> like, bro. I like how whenever he says anything, he doubles down on it. He doesn't back off of anything. Yeah. No. Yeah. yeah. I mean, which is nice. Like his though. analogies. Yeah. Like yeah. he's like, no, I'm not backing down. He still hasn't gotten away from the Eaton W's thing. Oh, People no. still ask him all the time about that. No. And he, I mean, whether he jokes about it or not, you meant that one yeah. in the moment yeah. that you thought that was a. So heater. Galveston. Galveston. I like how the farther he went, the more of a southern draw he got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he oh, starts with water. water, and then he got water. There's, there's some water in there. See, what? <laughs> what? What? Ain't got no soul. <laughs> what? <laughs> James, stop. Oh, James, don't stop. Get on a pod. Get on. Why? He's not on more podcast. Yeah. He, if you're a podcaster, well, don't he's, you want James? He's Winston? committed to the craft right now. He's he's committed to football That's right true. now. That's yeah. True. Yeah. Yeah. He's, you know, he's all in football, but uh, the day it stops, we need him on a podcast immediately. Yeah, I feel like he's going to be... Very good. He's going to be asked so much. Yeah, be cause, because he's funny. Everything because he, of clips like that. Everything he says is funny because yeah. he's so ridiculous. I like how he brought up but his But he's trainer. serious about it. He brought up his trainer again. His poor trainer. <laughs> yeah, he's that's a good point. He's like legitimately a funny person. Yeah. He's not tr- ever trying to... No, he's just... This is what this is just who I am. Yeah. Good, uh, good for you, Maybe James. he doesn't want to be that guy. Maybe he's like, everyone's laughing at me. I don't want to be that or guy. Or he make a lot of money doing it. Look... That that post football football career can be really really uh, depressing, uh, as I'm sure. Let's build a uh, let's build a halftime set with Jameis Winston on it. Okay, okay. bring my girl back. Uh, uh, who got fired by Eastpan? This is, uh, Susie Colbert. Susie Colbert. Bring Susie Colbert back because she would be hilarious with Jameis. Su- she just laugh at him. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got we got Jameis there. I like Randy Moss, and I think he'd be like he'd be like a uh, like he would understand where no, Jameis was coming from. You need the straight man to be with. To be with Jameis, so yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he yeah. but he would understand where he's coming from because I he, mean he knows guys like Jameis. I mean we we put him on every show because he's very funny. But I just want Pat Pat McAfee next. And put to Pat him. in the corner. Yeah. Oh, what maybe, a halftime! Maybe show. one more. You need someone to talk about football though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need a football guy. I guess. Put fuck it. Put Bill Pole in. Yeah, and then put Bill. <laughs> or sh- no, put Rappaport. Okay. You know he's about to be a free agent. That's really? it. Did we talk about that yet? Hey, Rappaport, we are not. We we are hiring, but we cannot pay you we nothing. Cannot pay you. <laughs> God, we'd love to have you. Pro bono, bitch. Yeah, please. Yeah. That'd be Jeez. great. Now he's definitely gonna get. Now it. he now 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 he hears me. Jeez, let's get into the news. News is brought to you by TrophySmack.com. Listen, if you run a fantasy league out there and you have not rewarded your champion with a belt, with a trophy, with a ring, however you do it in your league, it's time. Yeah, some people just do straight money, but be 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 extra with this one. Yeah. Get yourself a freaking big old trophy. Listen, is a belt extra? It's standard. No, I'm saying I'm, I'm saying like some people just money only. Yeah, no, don't no, no. don't that doesn't serve our purpose. Like, go the extra mile. Give him a trophy too. Yeah, the trophy won't. You can put that on your freaking mantle and yeah. just drive your wife crazy. And when you buy it, use our link trophysmack.com forward slash benched and uh, help out the show as well as help out your own league. Be a great league and not just a poop league. Yeah. Oh, poop. Then no, not that's a little hard. A little. A no, if you don't have a trophy, it's a, it's a crap. You go league. from a standard league no. to like an elite league. No, I'm not. I'm not that that's though. a terrible standard. Have a trophy. Have a belt. Have something. Jeez. 2024 NFL salary cap is expected to range uh, in the range of 250 million. That's a 25 million dollar increase from last year. Um, we expected this because these monster numbers we saw all year. Mm-hmm. Um, that means cap space is going to go up. That means no one's give, uh, given a discount. Home team discount. That also means first thing I thought about. Get your contracts in right now before that before yeah. that starts because it's gonna cost you a lot you like from more a team money. Standpoint, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. If you have like I saw the uh, I'm not sure if you have it on here, but Dak Dak Prescott because of this is sixty million. Yeah, at, like, you know th- that that could be sixty million dollars. Like, that's a lot of money at least. Yeah, uh, Patriots special teamer Matthew Slater is retiring from the NFL after sixteen seasons. It definitely feels like he's been around forever. Yeah. Um, 16 seasons is a very, very long time, especially for someone who's not like a star yeah. in the league. Uh, Bill Belichick said that Slater's the greatest special teamer in the NFL in NFL history, 
and he hopes Slater gets that recognition. Incredible career um, for Matthew Slater. Is he a Hall of Famer? He's he's got Pro Bowls and All Pros and such teamers, but I don't know. I'm not sure if like him or like a player who had like. 65 touchdowns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Like, I'm, I'm not sure who's good, if, like, if he has enough to win. Like, I want to respect him and give him recognition, but if I'm going through the Hall of Fame one day and I see his bust there and then next I go to, like, Reggie White. Or, like, Jamarcus Ware. Or Jamarcus Ware. Yeah. Are you like, hmm. I don't know. If these guys didn't have the same impact on the yeah, league. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you're going to forget about Matthew Slater, even though that sucks. <sighs> yeah. Richards fans are going to hate that. They love the guy. Yeah, but, Yeah. I think he, if there was one, he'd be the only one because he did it for so long at such a high level. Yeah. But good luck. I mean, good luck. Good Bring luck. him into the building and just put him in the special team section. Yeah, or like honorable mention section. Yes. Like in the like in the foyer. Like that's where his bust is. Not in the main part of the Hall of Fame. He's like, he's like in the front. Yeah, and be happy to be there. It's not really a bust. It's more like a picture. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Just quickly <laughs> deteriorating his presence there. But uh, like, or name a bench after. I don't know. <laughs> wow. I'm trying to honor you, Matthew. <laughs> uh, Raiders head coach Antonio Pierce on how the Raiders beat the Chiefs this preseason. You got the Jordan rules. We got the Patrick Mahomes rules. I showed the Raiders Jordan getting his ass whooped. Is he I'm, talking too much trash to yeah. the uh, champs? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, this, this, I mean, good for him, though, for, like, being confident. But careful. Don't, don't poke the bear. I mean, it. Patrick Mahomes... Killed every major contender in the AFC this year. You won. You beat, beat him one time. Great. He also right. won the championship. Right. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'm poking the bear here. Yeah. Especially Mahomes. And he's in your division. And we've seen Patrick Mahomes does not forget things. Like no. He's pretty petty, as and, usually the great ones are. And you don't want to give these great ones any type of motivation. That's what I'm saying. Like, you don't want to have this guy extra motivated going into, yeah. you know, two games a year with you. Like, you're going to hear about this next year. For yeah. sure. Yeah. And it'll um, be, yeah, and you best believe when Mahomes wins, because he will. Yeah. <laughs> in, in the post game, he's, he's going to reference this. I tell you what, Raider Nation is just going to be, because they, they, they believe it 100%. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, we're better than the Chiefs. <laughs> That's what they believe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just Aiden O'Connell, O'Connell with his yeah. weird mustache. About to sling it. Jeez. Uh, 49ers are dealing with a brand new Uke situation. Um, I think it's pretty simple, but... You know, he's yeah. still he's still not extended. He's a little yeah, go ahead. Um Ayuk's fifth year option cap hit is fourteen million dollars. Uh that amount mm-hmm. is fully guaranteed, cannot be restructured. If they choose to extend him, however, which he wants an extension, um, the cap hit is less. He's happy. He's uh, he's not saying goodbye, but kind of like, Hey, I'm ready to go. Yeah, he's not he's I don't know. He, I think his I mean his girlfriend went on Instagram, said well, that and his yeah. then his best friend and then Yeah. This is I don't know I, I opposite of you I feel like he's just he was he was ready to go, really. I feel like he wants to be a number one option for a pass first offense. Oh wow, yeah. I mean he hasn't come out and said that, but uh, that, well, that I mean, that's not a weird thing to say. Like the interviews were like so yeah. passive aggressive about it. I think he he's been really weird about it to be honest. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely not good vibes. No, like it's definitely not like like yeah. there's some beef now. I want to come back here and finish what we started. Like that is not no. <laughs> he's like pay me. Or because you just disrespected me on the biggest game of like uh, like the year, but not throwing to him, not throwing to him. Yeah, um, I mean, I I'd be, I'd love to see him in a pass first offense. That's me selfishly saying that. Okay, but he'd be very good in San Francisco for the rest of his career. Yeah, if he hits free agency, he's gonna get. He's the best one on, on the market. Yes. Yeah. Um. Although my mo- most likely not gonna hit free agency, most likely he's gonna no, pick he's up, gonna pay, pick pick up his option. Year. Yeah. Um. And he's just gonna play unhappy. And the Niners might need to play hardball here. Hard, not hardball. They do, are going to play hardball, yeah. but hardball um, because they can't afford to lose Ayuk. No, Debo's getting a little older. Kill's getting a little older. CMC, you know. We've seen Purdy with deteriorated weapons. Like, you can't lose Ayuk. Yeah, you need weapons around Purdy. It's already going to be hard next year to come back from a, like, losing a Super Bowl. Yeah. Uh, losing Ayuk would be terrible. I mean, they, they're. I'm looking forward to seeing how uh, Shanahan and Lynch rebuild this team and kind of retool for another run. Because it's tough, and you're going to lose some guys. How do you retool? You guys, you guys are already so stacked. Well, I mean, they're losing Greenlaw. Uh, Ayuk situation's interesting. Well, Gr- um, Greenlaw will be back, but yeah, it'll take about halfway through the season probably to get back. An Achilles in the Super Bowl? No, so like, yeah, it'll probably be about halfway to yeah. get him back. But you, Chase Young, free agent. Yep. 
Gregory free agent. You know, there's a lot of question marks. Yeah, I want to see how they retool. And we'll see. Uh, but Ayuk, he should be back. I mean, hopefully. Uh, Giants are unlikely to use a franchise tag on Saquon, Bar- Saquon Barkley, according to um, New York Post. Yeah. Um, this, we kind of know this. Yeah. Official report now. Yeah, this should be. Um, it's time. Th- is this a mistake for them? You, n- no, because you think it's just time. It's time. It's time. Um, a couple. I mean, he's been he's being sent everywhere. Yeah. I think people like him because he's like he has the same like impact and kind of similar, um, like uh, what's what I'm looking for? Similar like uh, level running back as Derrick Henry, just a little bit younger, and you can kind of plug him into a system for a couple more years than you can expect from Henry. I think. Um, so he's been, I mean, where, where is your favorite spot for him? Everyone says Houston, but he's good anywhere. That's what's crazy about it. So your favorite I, spot's anywhere. No, I think Baltimore should really, because they need another guy. Like they, they need a playmaker. Look what happened. And like, like in the playoffs, You're not wrong. like Houston needs them. Yeah. But I think, um, Baltimore needs him more. Is Eckler under contract? Do you know? No, he, no, he's a free agent. He, oh, he, he signed a one year. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of rumors about, about LA. There with the Chargers and Harbaugh. Yeah. Um, he actually talked about it. He said he would, you know, he'd love to go there, respects Harbaugh, stuff like that. Um, I think my favorite spot is the Texans, but Ravens is interesting because they, they don't what we both thought about that playoff game is that they just lack juice. They, they just didn't have anyone else besides Lamar. No one. Yeah. Um Keaton Mitchell, who knows what he'll be like when he comes back. Uh Zay Flowers, good, but you're not gonna you're not you you've seen you can't do it with yeah, with uh Aguilar and Bateman. It's not going to work. Even though, they, even though they're going to try again next year. <laughs> even, though, they're, they're, even though that's exactly what they're they going to do. They just re-signed one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, many people believe in the NFL. Uh, they expect the Bengals to franchise tag T. Higgins and let Tyler Boyd hit free agency. Yeah. It's the right move. Yeah. Boyd would be a nice nice guy. I like him in Houston. Just add him to the rotation. Yeah. Yeah, because you might not need the top end. You might have it already. Tank I mean, because Noah Brown's gone. I think he's just as good as Noah Brown. It's not better. Nico put up huge numbers. It came out, I think, today that Tank Dell is going to be ready by OTAs. Yeah. This is the plan B if they don't want to spend big big money on wideouts. They'll yeah. just go get a Tyler Boyd. Or, yeah. you know, them, a lot of teams can use a Tyler Boyd. He's yeah. just like a, like, like a nice – he's not one or two. He's a nice three. Just just put him in. Yeah. This, this, I mean, it's a good wide receiver class for the free agency yeah, it this is. year. Like, you have the top-end guys, but you also have a handful of these guys who just to deepen your – OBJ is available. If you're, no, no, no. Actually, he's not. If he was, I still wouldn't want him. <laughs> like he's just not it anymore. Yeah. He's getting paid like nineteen million nice. by the Ravens. Go good for you, man. Jeez. Got that money. Uh but T. Higgins, one more year in the Bengals, and yeah. then you let him walk. Yeah. Right? Run it back one more time, see what happens. And then next year you're like, well, we gotta pick between you and you and Chase and sorry. Yeah. I, th- I the more I think about it, the more I think, yeah, it is the best idea to tag him. Go at it one more year, maybe you win a Super Bowl this year. Uh but also it gives you some insurance if Chase goes down. Yeah. At any point. Like, you have T. Higgins still. And I think you get a comp pick if he leaves a free agency after you tag him or something like Probably that. Probably a third, yeah, yeah. for sure, for someone yeah. like T. So Higgins. maybe, like, we get some something back for him. Yeah. Um, everyone freaked out about this next story. I don't think it's a huge deal, but Justin Fields uh, has unfollowed the Bears. Well, because they, they, and then he followed B. John Robinson, Kyle Pitts, and Drake London. Yeah, so Justin Fields doing some friending and unfriending on Instagram, and the world freaked out. Is it a thing to you? Might be. I don't know. These players are petty as hell, so I don't know. Yeah. Do you know uh, C.J. Stroud doesn't follow the Texans? Yeah. I'm just, like, <laughs> like, some people, like, some people just, some athletes are like, I don't want to be known as an athlete. Yeah. And that's the thing, too. Some people, like, C.J. Stroud, I'm sure, doesn't even know he doesn't follow the Texans. Yeah. Uh, but some people, like, they want to send messages with this. So yeah. we can't always laugh at, like, people freaking out about it. But I don't know. Justin Fields, he's actually supposed to, uh, the Amon Ra St. Brown podcast, mm-hmm. he's supposed to jump on there and talk about it. They, like, teased it. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know Amon Ross Brown had a podcast. Yeah, he has with uh yeah, you haven't seen it? It's no. uh I think it's with the thirty third team, Ari Mar- Ari Marov's oh, crew over there. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's a, I mean, it's pretty good. They they have they have a lot of current players on, so it's fun. Uh but Justin Fields unfollows the Bears. I mean, this whole situation, to me, it's already done. Yeah, it's done. To me, you've you you uh, Justin Fields isn't pissed off per se, but he definitely doesn't feel like yeah the Bears want. Him. He's never felt wanted there. Yeah, exactly. So, so he's like, why would I? Even, I don't. I don't want to see your your off season yeah. uh, marketing strategy for your Instagram. Exactly. Anymore. <laughs> like exactly. I'm done with you guys. And he's, I mean, he gets tagged in probably all these proposed trades and all these other fan bases that want him. Yeah, um, a lot of fan bases want him. 
Chicago, they they're I don't they were chanting his name. Yeah. Like, are do they want Caleb Williams? Because <laughs> it seems I, like they want Justin Fields too. They're so weird. I don't know. Is Ryan Poles the only one who wants Caleb who Williams? Who doesn't want him? Maybe. Yeah. Who doesn't want Justin yeah. Fields? And what's crazy is Ryan Poles is the one who's going to pull the trigger on. Yeah. But they keep. That's the only one that matters. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, you could really fuck this up, man. Jeez, like, <laughs> and I think this is why I think we're both at the point where we're like, just give him to a team that. Just give him a team that wants. You guys are just don't. Yeah. Like you guys have, like he's progressed very slowly. But not like you've ever helped him out besides DJ Moore. Three coaches, three coordinators in three years. And, like, before DJ Moore, they had absolutely nobody. Luckily enough, you've groomed Cole, Cole Komet, and Mooney is, is a nice you know, piece. But, I mean, you haven't really based the whole team around him yet. It's just been, like, we've added pieces, because, and you're still there, not because you're there. We might not even understand how bad those other pieces are because as soon as he got DJ Moore, like, when he's throwing to DJ Moore, he's a different kind of quarterback. Yeah. When he's throwing to Mooney, he's like a different kind of quarterback. Like, I I feel like you put some decent weapons like all around him as far as like the wide receiver core because last year he just turned into DJ Moore and no one. Yeah. Like uh, Mooney kind of took a step back, although I think Mooney's really oh, good. Komet had like seven hundred yards. He, yeah, he had nice Komet. Yeah. 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 Um, but yeah, other, you, you don't have anyone else besides that. The other point I want to make is that so he was so Trevor Lawrence was drafted with him, um, and who's the other quarterback? There's another quarterback. I'm not remembering uh but it, even i guess we'll look at trevor lawrence uh trevor lawrence was is like he's way up i don't, don't want to say outplayed but trevor lawrence has never they've never questioned like if we're in yeah. on trevor lawrence they've always been all in like this is our guy yeah even though he's kind of been a bust yeah a like bit. he hasn't been the number one overall generational player that he was built up to be nope. and justin fields i'm sure sees that and thinks hmm, why don't they want me yeah yeah, and that's why the connection with him and the Pittsburgh Steelers should be just fantastic. That's, I just go to the just go to Pittsburgh already. I I I wasn't on that, but ever since you brought it up, man, that is it's just the perfect spot for him. Yeah, I could also see him in that uniform. I don't know why that's such a big thing for me. Yeah, and, and he looked cool in it, and like they have they have some nice players, and they have a nice team there. They see the quarterback who's not Kenny Pickett or Mason Rudolph. For someone who was kind of built up as a little diva ish coming out of college, he's a tough guy, dude. He's a tough dude. Dude, go watch any Bears game. He's a, he's 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 a tough guy. He's a big, strong, tough like football player. Yeah. So I think God, him they love him in, in in Pittsburgh, especially coming off the after Pickett. And then Hat uh, Hat Atlanta, Hot Atlanta, yeah, is like the sexy pick. Because right. they, they have all those weapons. Right. Yeah. That might win him over. Yeah. Like, like in a dome, I don't got to be cold anymore. That too. He's from Georgia. He's from Georgia. They're so good. Those are my top two spots, but sheesh. Those two make two sense, too much sense for, like, who else is going to be besides those two? But the problem is that it makes too much sense now that they, now they have no leverage to, like, trade. Now it's like, okay, yeah. like, everyone knows you want to come here. Yeah. So, like, you get, 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 give us a first, or else you're not going to get them. I guess all you need is two teams, right, bidding against each other? Yeah. So, they'll at least get that. I mean, it was already reported that at the Senior Bowl, they got multiple offers. So, I don't know. We'll see about uh, Justin Fields, that situation. I don't know at what point they actually pulled the trigger on it. This whole combo started because he unfollowed the Bears on Instagram. (laughs) And this is why I guess it does matter. Yeah, see? Take a quick break, and we'll get back to uh, the rest of what we have here. Okay, we are back with um, a story I don't want to... It's just, I can't believe we're here. But the Bills can create almost 18, 17 and a half mil in cap space, which they need. Yeah. Um, by cutting. By Von trading. Miller, by trading Von Miller after, after June 1st. Excuse me. I can't believe this is where we are. Yeah. Where this seems like, I can't wait to get Von Miller off my team. You remember at the end of Dwight Freeney's career, who's the same way. There's some guys, these pass pitchers, some just don't age well. Yeah. And he has not aged well. And he's, he's, he's had injuries and then off the field stuff. That, 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 that's been terrible. It's just been like pretty bad couple of years for a Hall of Fame player. Yeah. I mean, he could have retired a couple of years ago before he went to the Bills and went out on top, which I get though. Like he saw like an opportunity to chase yeah. titles in Buffalo. It's just as much as, as much as I could have gone wrong has. Yeah. Like, it's just, they gave him a big money deal. Then he got hurt. Then he had, just hasn't been the same. We probably should have seen it coming too for someone who was – Great because of the athlete he was on yeah. the edge. Yeah. That's He's just good. a phenomenal athlete. Yeah. And then once you lose that, you know. I I, I don't think I've ever been – I that's, that's not true. But, I like, I was so impressed seeing him in person. Like, when we went to that Broncos camp and mm. seeing how he could bend yeah. and how 
ma- how massive a person like he's not a big D end. Yeah, but like you know, two forty, two fifty. Yeah, right, he's a big yeah. Um, that he can move that way. That yeah. he had that kind of power with these massive tackles. Like he was such. He was. I mean, in his we talked a little about Demarcus Ware. Yeah, uh, Demarcus Ware was the Robin to Von Miller being Batman yeah. back in the day. He was just unstoppable. Yeah. Now. Now I think he'll get he'll he'll get traded to team. If not, he'll get cut, and it'll just be a rotational guy. Yeah, is it the same cap space for being cut? It usually is, but maybe not. Maybe in the weird, weird contract. But I don't know who's trading for Vaughn. That's, That's the thing. That's that, what I'm yeah. saying. Like I don't, I don't know who's trading for Vaughn. Who's trading for 17 million of his contract? Like I think if you're gonna get a veteran, just go get Khalil Mack. If you're gonna do that, right? Yeah, right. Weird that Khalil Mack has aged better than Vaughn Miller. That is weird. Yeah, because you think he'd be but he opposite. definitely has. He definitely has. He's had <laughs> yeah. Mack had a great season. Remember back in the day, that was the big argument. Like, who's better? It was him, Justin Houston, and Vaughn. Oh, yeah, Justin Houston, too. And then it was that, but Mack, let's not forget. Early very, Khalil very Mack with the Raiders. That's the problem. He was on the, gosh, is Max Crosby the new uh, Khalil Mack? Because the Raiders are just never winning anything. Yeah. I don't want to call them terrible, but. They haven't been good for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. And so Khalil Mack was kind of just wasting away on that team. Meanwhile, Vaughn Miller's winning Super Bowls. Yeah. And Justin Houston's on a young, up-and-coming Chiefs team. Yeah. That uh, turned out to be a dynasty. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we love Von Miller. We do love Von Miller. Sucks that this is this is how it's going down, but this is how it always goes down for the most part. Yeah. They just, um, well, Father Time is undefeated. Yeah. Like, sorry, well, Von. If it happened to Peyton Manning, it could happen to Why is it so depressing to me? Because it's, it's, it's like an era of football that's, like, done. Because he true. represents, like, an era of football. It's true. And he's kind of, like, not even the first wave of pass rushers, like, great pass rushers that we got to experience. Because we got the... We got the Javon Curse, Jared Allen. We were alive, like we were following for that. Freeney, Trent, Trent Cole. This guy though, we saw him drafted. We saw him rise. Yeah. We saw him be the top. We saw him uh, be his best in the Super Bowl, which is like why everyone fell in love with he him. He truly was. Yeah, his best performance. Super Bowl MVP. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> All right, on. let's move on before we get too depressed here. All right, uh, Vikings not willing to give Kirk Cousins a fully guaranteed. Ugh. Fully guaranteed contract. I promise you I could speak. Uh, Albert Breer reports. We talk, we've talked about this a lot. Uh, I think we've even mentioned, mm-hmm. uh, referred to this. Um, he had, he got, he's gotten paid a lot. He, 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 cause yeah. he got tagged like three times in a row he's, in Washington. He's coming off an Achilles. So I, I get the hesitation there. But what are you going to do? Like, Look, where, where, do you, where are you going to pivot? I guess you just draft a guy, but grass is not always greener. I mean, yeah. it's tough finding a quarterback. So I don't know if I'd be letting one walk, just just walk away. Oh, yeah. I mean, also, these stories are coming out that Justin Fields is very interested in what you're doing to quarterback. He's not just going to sign Justin there. Jefferson. Sorry, guys. Yeah, Fields? Yeah. Justin Jefferson's very interested in what you're doing. Yeah. He's, he's not just going to sign there long. He wants to be great and win championships. Which means he needs a good quarterback. Right. Yeah. Uh, and he's expressed his, like, his willingness or desire to play with Kirk Cousins before. Yeah. I think it's just cost of business, okay? You make enough freaking money. Go pay Kirk Cousins. Bring him back in the fold. Him and O'Connell work really well together. That offense was just flying. Or just, oh yeah, yeah, sign him and then just dra- draft the guy. Like, don't just leave yourself with no plan, like, right. nothing on the table. Or back into a corner where you have to draft the guy and then you have to play that guy. Yeah, and like you're not really in love with him. Then right. like you see, you know, Kirk Cousins out here just slinging it. In, they could in, really mess this up. Yeah, like, they can if they if they move on from Cousins and don't hit on the rookie quarterback. Here they are with no quarterback. Uh. Justin Jefferson's probably pissed. Plus, probably saying, like, I'm not going to sign here. A bad defense, at least last year. Yeah, maybe he's not signing long-term. Like, you're kind of these are the, a they, lot of questions. They, they, these are the moves that get GMs fired, head coaches fired when yep. you don't. Yeah, I just don't get it, but, I mean, who am I? I'm <laughs> just a humble podcaster. And, I, yeah, Kirk Cousins, if he goes to any other team, he starts for, like, half the teams in the NFL. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, Even off Achilles. Yeah, I take him over, over Bacon Mayfield, who had, who had a pretty good season. I take him 10 times out of 10. Yeah. Um, Jets organization apparently really likes Sam Howell, which I saw this story, and I think Sam Howell is such the perfect guy for them to go get. He's no, um, he's not going to piss off Aaron Rodgers. Not a threat. Yeah, he's not a threat. He's a, he's a, he'd be such a good backup. Yeah. He can definitely win you games. Yeah. I think as a backup, he's good. And, but yet he still has some like developmental, this could be our guy for the future, like juice, I think. This sounds a lot like Zach Zach Wilson last. No, year. no, 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 no. Come on, not Sam Howell's not, not Zach Wilson. No, Sam Howell's pretty good. I think he's, this is. I mean, he's better than Wilson. That's yeah. Oh. Right there is an improvement. Is Wilson in the league next year? I don't know. I don't know who's picking him up. Right? 
He sucks. He's so bad. He's not very good. He's so bad. We were, I mean, who are the clowns that are putting in just to, and we were excited about it. Like, they're putting in, like, um. Oh, this year? Yeah. Who are they? They're, they're backups. Who they find, like, Tim Boyle. Oh, Tim Boyle, then Trevor Simeon. They're putting in those guys, and we were literally excited. Because, like, something. Please give us something at quarterback. Wild, no, man. um. Yeah, Hal will be nice there. I'm not sure if Washington wants to move, wants to move on for him, though. Yeah. Because he's a nice bridge guy, at least. Maybe they trade for him because they're going to probably bring in a young quarterback. Yeah, and then you get, yeah. I don't know. I, if I'm Washington, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll just keep him. Yeah. Why trade him? Like, have a nice backup. Maybe he wants to start somewhere. I don't know. But, yeah, Sam Howell, Jets like him. Go get him. Uh, Russell Wilson. Uh, this, port, this, is, this is an incredible source here. Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson. Uh, a little birdie told me. That's how you know a report's going to be really good. Yeah. When someone starts that way. Uh, I said this many shows ago. Russell Wilson coming over to the Steelers. Listen, this could be just totally just a lie made up, whatever. Or it could be true. That's the a, that's a beauty of Ocho Cinco. Yep. Um, maybe put him on that. It's an odd fit. Yeah, I was okay. That's, that, that's what I'm talking about. Fit him on the Steelers. I, I mean, he had good numbers last year, and he had good games. But also, you don't know if like Sean Payton was just did not give him the give him give him the reins. No, we do know that. Like we no, know no no no. You know, maybe this year they do, and he like returns at some kind of form. But I don't know. Yeah, you think if you think uh, George Pickens is frustrated with Mason Rudolph, wait until Russell Wilson is pumping you and not actually throwing to and you, and just and just taking a sack or running out of yeah. bounds. Yeah, wait to wait. <laughs> George Pickens is gonna lose his mind. Yeah, yeah. I, this is an odd fit, but I it's it's but it's an improvement though. That's why you do it. Like we need, we need to get better at this spot. And but he's not great, but he's better. It's not exciting. No, it's not exciting. It's not exciting at all. Um, but it's better though. That's that that that's the point. Do you think they win? The, do you think they beat the Bills with with Russell Wilson? No, they have a better shot. They definitely do. But that's that's what I'm saying. Like you keep kind of, kind of saying like, well, they're better though. But like, I, I'm just trying to uh, trying to be silver a, lining. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if that's your goal, then yeah, cool. I guess yeah, go get Russell Wilson. But you're not a contender in your own division even. No. Russell Wilson. Like. No, Russell Wilson is at the end of his career. He's he needs uh, to be a backup. He's a bridge guy. Yeah, he, back he, for a bitch. Yeah. Um, Dak Prescott. This is kind of where, we, where I wanted to get to and kind of land here. Uh, Dak Prescott might command a contract worth up to $60 million. That is going to reset the market. Uh, kind of right time, right place because the cap's increasing. Yeah. they He has so much leverage over the Cowboys. Yeah. Like and so much I think leverage. he's leading off too because him – Trevor Lawrence, Justin Fields are all coming up on the same time yeah. for new deals. Yeah. So if he leads off, Lawrence to get a big a big contract. Then Fields, you know, will get a a con not as big as that as those guys. But yeah, he is so much he because he's been good, and he, his best year was last year. Right, uh, last year, fourth in yards, first in touchdowns, just nine interceptions, second in rating, second in completion percentage, uh, second in MVP voting. Like he had a huge year last year. Yeah. Um. Let, let's just listen to the the leverage he has. When he, when he goes into these talks, he has a $60 million cap hit next year. That's a lot of money. Like, they need to bring that down. Like, yeah. that's yeah. that puts them in a place where they can't do anything. Yeah. So they have to bring that down. The only way to do that is by extending him. Uh, he can't be tagged next year, which means if they don't get something done this year, you risk losing him for nothing. Yeah. Which is just, like, will set your organization back, yeah. like, years. Um, he has a no-trade clause. <laughs> so you can't trade him. You can't get anything back from him that way. Uh, if Dak were leaving free agency, Dallas would take on thirty six million dead money. They're so in a tough spot. You would lose them and yeah, pay thirty six mil. Think you just have to extend. You're just you're just too happy about the Cowboys doing this. I I just I, yeah I, I I guess it's a it's a reason for me to to root for Dak Prescott because it's against the Cowboys. But it's such a um, sign him. You have no choice, Jerry. I mean, and what <laughs> what are your other options? Yeah. Like Dak's a good a good quarter. He hasn't won the big game yet, but right. he's a pretty good he's a pretty good quarterback. Why would you just let him go? Yeah, he's played. I mean, he's played like really good during the during the season. He obviously he worked really well with McCarthy last year. He's played well enough where a quarterback like that should give you a chance to win a Super Bowl. Yeah, they just had these weird things in the playoffs. Yeah, that's just their. They, they I don't. Been, they have these ghosts that they can't. You know these yeah. these demons. I'm sorry that they can't conquer. And um, yeah, I'm not I'm not getting rid of Dak. If I have Dak, no, sign him. Yeah, unless you have, like, some kind of information where, hey, Kyler's going to come in. Or not even Kyler. I don't know if Kyler's an upgrade over Oh, like, oh, like we're, we're actually about to trade for the yeah, number one Yeah, we're going to make pick. a big move. Yeah. yeah. 
you got you have to <clears throat> keep Dak. Yeah, like you have no choice here, and he will get that sixty million, mm-hmm. and it's probably going to be some crazy guarantee number two. Yeah, because you got to you got to twist the screws on when you have an organization like now he's that. he's made some money in his career. Him and Kirk are are they know how to do it, man. Yeah, for being quarterbacks that have won no Super Bowls between <laughs> them, they make some money. <sighs> Whose career would you rather have, Kirk's or Dak's? I like Kirk's. I don't like the Cowboys. That's so. That's, that's probably. Weird, but I, I still want to be a Cowboy. I don't want Michael Irvin spitting spitting all, all over him while 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 he's talking to me about 1994. Michael Irvin. I guess I don't. I mean, whatever. We can talk about it. Uh, I feel like he's constantly getting in trouble with the police, and just no one ever punishes him. No, he's always just back on TV the next week. Because Jerry sends him a nice big old <sighs> big old check. Like, hey, 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 Michael. Yeah. Listen, Dak. Do this for all of us, man. Make Jerry write you a fat check. And honestly, you deserve it. You've been through. You you've gotten better. You've progressed right away. He has no off off, off the field problems. He's yeah. like a model citizen. He and he's he makes and and C D Lamb wants him there, who's also up for like a big deal. Oh my! So God. you want to keep him? I didn't even think about that. Is he next year? Yeah. Jeez. So you want to make sure you keep C D Lamb, so you have to sign Dak. It's a costume business, man. It costs money to be good. Sorry. That's a. That's a. I mean. So with Justin Jefferson probably signing this year, Stevie Lamb's co- contract coming after that, it'll be close if not the same. You're, you're going to be paying so much money to those two to Dak and wow, yeah. But the wow. cap's going up, so like it'll, it, that's, that's why they bring the cap up. So and you're can, the Cowboys. You make so much. You're the you're the. I saw today that they're the most valuable franchise. Um, I think in sports. Yeah, because everyone knows the Cowboys. American sports. Yeah, everyone knows the Cowboys. It's you know quote unquote America's team. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Bring back Dak. You don't. You don't have a. Uh, you don't have a choice. Can we, tell you what. If you let him go, we'll all, all maybe twenty teams will be all over Dak Prescott. Yeah, I was gonna say. Let's speculate where he would go. It'd be like let's okay, speculate wildly. Thirty-two uh, teams. Okay. <laughs> or thirty. Uh, Twenty-eight. Uh, selfishly, the Denver Broncos. Yeah. Please let him go so we can sign Dak. Dak Prescott. Dak's a fourth rounder too. Yeah. Man, remember when he first came on taking Tony Romo's job? Yeah, he was good. It was like he was like he played so well in the preseason. We're like, is this real? And then he just kept playing well. And then he hasn't stopped playing well since then? Yeah. I mean, he's had like one or two down years, but for the most part, he's been a well above average quarterback. Yeah. And I would sign him. I, I don't really know. The, the, I mean, I get the money, but you got a good quarterback. This You got to pay him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What are you going to do? Go look for a quarterback that you eventually have to pay? They did trade for Trey Lance. Maybe that's that's their answer. <sighs> Trey Lance is a free agent. That's fun. Does Trey Lance get a shot somewhere? God, please no. He I want to see Trey Lance play. We've never seen him play. He's played for like five games. He started for five games, but sort of Jordan Love, and then he turned it into what he is now. But um, Trey Lance, I don't know, man. I don't we, want him. We, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him. I just want to see him play. Like he's just a. We, we've only seen him play in like he played in like that monsoon, and then he got hurt after. Like we didn't get a chance to like see like what is Trey Lance? How badly did the Niners mess that up? I want to see. I don't want to see him. I, I, I after this year, I don't want any more bad quarterback play. But we're gonna get it. <laughs> We had some crazy matchups. We had some bad ones. Some, some bad Tim ones. Boyle, Nick Mullen matchups. Yeah, Brett Brett Rippin. <sighs> so shout out to Brett to Brett Rippin. Um, yeah, yeah, poor guys. Um, but we did talk about this this upcoming year that we could get just like legendary quarterback play, and also legendary backup money, backup quarterback money. That too, because of, because of this year. Yeah, but with all these guys coming back, like, I mean. Aaron Kirk, Aaron Kirk, Just, Justin Herbert, Deshaun Joe, Watson, Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow, just uh, those guys. Anthony Richardson, just those guys, right there. It's That's just, those are all elite, if not can be elite players. Yeah. Another thing with the Cowboys too is that, listen, the Eagles took a massive step back. Who knows how they recover? Uh, new coaching staff again. Um, Giants still suck. I'm, no, I'm saying like in the in the NFC. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the Packers. Who knows what they are next year? They look like an upcoming team, but uh, be, they're, they're not a juggernaut yet. Uh, Niners are going to have to rebound. There's an opportunity here in the NFC. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like you want, like Dak. You could still you you can make a Super Bowl run. You do have to get over your demons and all that. But like if you just look at this in a vacuum, you have the team to win a Super Bowl or at least get to the Super Bowl in the NFC. Yeah. Uh, another reason to pay him. But, it's just been, and then Micah Parsons coming up for them too. Is he really? Holy. Yeah, God. they have a lot of money. That, 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 can that, they keep all three? I don't know. Those are all top. Let me ask you this. Him, okay, so Zach Prescott, C.D. Lamb, and Micah Parsons. That's a lot okay, of money. Okay, okay but, but who, if you could only keep two? Quarterback. Edge rusher. Sorry, C.D. Lamb. 
Those are important to your team. That's probably the right way to do it. Yeah. Look at the look at who won the Super Bowl this year. Their best receiver was a rookie wideout. Wow. That's Patrick Mahomes. Okay. Like, yeah, you're right. You're right. Though. You're I'm right. just saying, like, I'm building my team around quarterback and pass rusher. <sighs> if CeeDee Lamb it, 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 you know, is, like, is a victim of that, sorry, like, it's just going to suck and we have to prioritize something. What's the – I'm going to look it up right now. What's, I'm looking up the top uh, the top receiver contract right now because I want to get a, a little bit of an idea of – I think it's Tyreek. Is it Tyreek? And what, what's his hour? What's his hourly? <laughs> I think it's 30. Is it 30? Okay, so if they're paying – yeah, it is 30. Uh, 30 for Tyreek. C- CeeDee Lamb. At yeah. least, yeah, they're paying sixty for Dak, hundred billion. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then about 30, 30 million, 35, 40 for Micah. So let's say conservatively one hundred twenty million between three players. It's all about it. <laughs> and they also have, they also have good players on that team too. They have good linemen that that they that they got to pay. And it's like a perfect storm where they like you know you have to pay like like the Zeke thing. It's like no, you could let them go. Yeah, like but this is a perfect storm like, where you need three. And three they're guys. all coming up on deals at the same time. I mean, it's a good problem to have that you're yeah yeah that much because they're all homegrown guys and yeah. that's good for them. But you might lose one of them. But wow, I would lose CD Lamb before I lose Micah Parsons and uh, Dak. You're probably right. I'm not as big on Micah Parsons. I but guess would you would you pick would you are you that big on CD Lamb? So I was trying to give Micah? myself time to get there. Uh, yeah. See, I've had a hard time between Parsons and, and CD. Yeah. So I do think I mean in today's league, man, like. If you, some of these offenses, they're literally held back by not having a big time receiver option. Yeah, uh, and some but of these teams are also held back by not. Definitely true. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, we'll see what happens there in Dallas. Uh, it usually is full of drama, mm-hmm. and d- if Jerry does nothing the easy way. So no, and he'll be on his radio show talking nonsense. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. certainly want him at a so number that him. that you know works for the whole team. Well, we're trying to win championships here. It's Dallas. We win championships. We'll get her done. <laughs> okay, Jerry's been fifty five years. <laughs> That's our show for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining us. God, I really went in on Jerry there. Yeah, I did. Um, we'll see you Friday with the new show. And uh, have a great week. Later. Peace. Bye.